keep trusting, keep praying, and expect miracles. She just sat down to watch the 700 Club, and God healed her. And he wants to do the same thing for you today. He is no respecter of persons. What he did for Vicki, he can do for you. So we are going to pray for you in just a second. But first, we have some praise reports. Here's one. Gordon, Rebecca of Newark, Ohio, suffered intensely with a skin condition on her face. Her doctor confirmed that it was cancerous. She was watching the 700 Club when she heard you say, Gordon, touch the part of your body that needs healing. In faith, Rebecca, Rebecca touched her face and accepted that healing. Later, the doctor did another biopsy, and guess what? No cancer. Hallelujah. Praise God. Here is an astounding miracle. This is Candace. Since the age of seven, she's had scoliosis, and it was caused by the live polio virus um, given to many in her generation. Throughout her life, she suffered back pain, and getting older hasn't helped. One day I was lying in my bed in severe pain, unable to do anything, mm. and was watching your show. God spoke to me. Wherever two are gathered, I realized I had never prayed for my healing with another person. I knew he was going to heal me. Then I heard Wendy say, someone has lower <laughs> back pain and you have suffered from it for years. Wow. God is healing you now. Praise God. As I held my hands up to God, I felt his Holy Spirit energize my body. As electricity ran through me, I began shaking and weeping because I could not contain the miracle that was happening to me. From that moment, I am healed. I am readying myself to claim my ministry for abused children, which God promised me years ago. I can now go forward with no back pain. I am 72 years young. <laughs> Hallelujah. He heals wow. all your diseases. He forgives all your iniquities. He restores your youth. He gives you strength. He wants to do this for you. Isn't it amazing? What an amazing God we serve. What an amazing thing he's provided for his children. How much he wants to pour out his blessings on you. Pour it out so it feels like electricity in your body. <laughs> now, what's the key? What do you have to do? Uh, what's the procedure? What's the ritual? That's real simple. Believe. Believe. Believe in the one that he sent. Believe in Jesus. Believe in his sacrifice. Believe it was for you, not for somebody else, but it, it was for you. Believe that, and then act like you believe. One of the great ways to act like you believe is to ask for prayer. When two or more agree touching anything, it shall be done. It's that reaching out, asking. It asking shows that you have faith. When you ask with the expectancy that you will receive, then you will have it. Jesus says this in Mark chapter 11. When you stand praying, believe that you have already received and you will have it. What little child, when they come to their father for food, uh, and daddy can have some food, expects to be denied? None of them. They all expect to get what they're asking for. Have that same expectation. Now, Wendy and I are going to agree. So you've got your two or more. Hmm. All you have to do is agree with us and let Jesus do all the rest just for you. Lord, we lift those in the audience who have pain. We lift anyone with back pain, with knee pain, with shoulder pain, with elbow pain, with any pain anywhere in their body. We lift all of those with cancer, all of those facing surgery, all of those with any kind of lung infection or any kind of disease, anything. Mm. And we declare over them, you heal all our diseases. You carried away all our infirmity. If you've already done this, then we don't have to keep this any longer. We don't have to keep arthritis. We don't have to keep scoliosis. We don't have to keep it. So, Lord, we turn it all over to you, for we know that you care for us. Stretch forth your hand to heal, 
for we ask it in Jesus' name. Wendy, God's given you something. Yes, uh, your name is Phyllis, and you have Parkinson's, uh, where you've been diagnosed with Parkinson's, but God is touching you, and you are being healed right now. Just receive it. This is a total miracle. There's also someone, um, you're a troubled teenager, at least that's what you've been labeled by counselors and parents and people in authority, uh, but God says you are not troubled. You are my child. You are blessed. I have a plan for you. And right now that depression is lifting, thoughts of suicide are lifting, and God is restoring hope and joy in your life. You are not troubled anymore in Jesus' name. There's someone you've got excruciating arthritis um, and carpal tunnel in your right hand, and you're, you're literally holding it because it, there's just so much pain that shoots down into your fingers. God's healing all of that for you right now in the name of Jesus. It's just lifted off of you. Just You have new nimbleness. You can do whatever you want with that right hand. Go button a button and, and realize God has completely healed you and restored you in Jesus' name. Lord, I just want to pray right now for those suffering with COVID, and I thank you right now for touching them and doing miracles today in Jesus' name, as well as the people in the Gulf Coast, Lord, protect them in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you need prayer, we're here for you. All you have to do is reach out and call us, and it's our honor, our privilege to pray for you. 1-800-700-7000.